topicals uh, with your topical there, sir. There you go. Um, and by the way, just real quick, so we don't get ahead of ourselves, that little sample that I, that I gave you, that's not for your lips. Okay, don't do that. Don't stick it in your eye because that will be a, 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 a bad morning. Um, it'll clean things out pretty good, but it is great for your hands and some different things. I'm, I'll go walk through that. So anyway, um, the introduction, thank you. Again, that was, that was really nice. And um, okay, where am I? All right. Uh, I thought someone said that one was okay. Try him, try him. There it is. Okay, awesome. Some of this we've already talked about. So we are locally owned and operated. We are truly a family company, um, licensed with the state uh, and all the particulars, T's and cross, uh, I's have been dotted. Uh, certified. I am Iowa's first. Um, master's degree student in medical cannabis science and therapeutics in the state of Iowa. So that's kind of exciting. Again, everything is kind of new right now. And, uh, you know, when we were talking about me doing this um, from a full-time position, which was not easy to do, I was with a local company and uh, the life safety director and, and marketing manager, and um, it was tough. Um, but just all the universal signs were saying this is what you need to do and met a lot of folks and got educated and uh, still continuing my education there's a lot to learn a lot yet to be learned and there's more science that needs to come up and that's part of the other stuff that we're trying to get accomplished is is allow us to get where we need to be from a, a science standpoint to understand this beautiful plant we are talking about a plant here now it is a drug yes uh, just like your coffee and your alcohol and whatever else is out there right um but we need to be educated and we need to be smart and we are adults so we need to, to move some things forward but um we do consultations uh, a little over a decade of experience so we also and uh, to be forthright uh, our family's got a, a lobby firm and that firm was the group that was commissioned to help bring iowa medical cannabis to iowa through a very well-known company here that you guys probably are aware if you have more questions about that you can come up and, and ask me after um, so, yeah, we've been around this. We're fully engaged. Um, I educate wherever I can. I educate myself. I educate my customers. We really focus on when you come to the store or you set up a consultation with me, it is like coming to a doctor's sort of kind of, um, you know, we, there's a lot of quantified things and some things that are not yet quantified. So we, we talk about all that stuff and try to find the best products that work for, for the person um i am not trying to push any particular products we rep for eight of the largest manufacturers in the country uh, as well as i've started my own product line with a midwest company that does uh of course hemp derived and uh a little stronger stuff in some cases um but so we doing a lot of things we're available online uh seven days a week 22nd university do you guys know where smash burger is Casey's and all that there on the corner. We're in that strip mall right in between Frederick's Coffee and Eat Thai. You know where that's at? Yeah. Okay. If you ever want to come in there, say hi, see our beautiful, beautiful store. It is quite nice. Not as nice as this. The artwork is not quite as expensive, I'm sure, <laughs> but still wonderful. It's kind of kind of a modern kind of flair to it and um very clean and professional. And uh we we pride ourselves and we're very excited to be there and be part of that community. Come on. This is the button. Yes. There it is. So that was you again. Okay. Uh, so let's get some of the mechanics out of the way. So um, you can read some of this. I know it, I wish that could have been blown up a little bit, but long story short on the legal piece, uh, federally as of 2018, uh, the amended farm bill took, if you're not aware, um, Cannabis is a very broad sweeping term, um, also known as marijuana, which I, I don't like that term. I think it's um, it does not do the, the, the medicinal therapeutic value concept well. Um, so cannabis is a schedule one. In 2018, that farm bill was amended. It took hemp away from cannabis. The deciding the, the the difference between the two legally is the amount of THC in the product less than 0.3% is hemp. Lots of different uses for it. You guys are probably aware of some of this stuff. We've all kind of grown up in this world. And then 
anything more than that has been considered uh, cannabis as uh, the marijuana piece. And so as of 2018, that that was amended um, federally. So hemp derived products are illegal in all 50 states. Then the states, of course, came aboard and, and uh, monitor those things and how the how that will look uh, at the state level, as well as um, um, the help with inspection and appeals and that process. Um, so as of March uh, 1st of 2021, the state then approved the, the hemp program and uh, we are fully engaged there. As of April 16th, we were in business. So um, I was uh, kind of watching some of this and I thought, you know, if, uh, if someone's gonna do this, we want the bar to be set high um, we don't get a lot of opportunities like this to do it right. So we really try to put ourselves in a position where the rest of our market has to kind of come up to us. And so we were, we were uh, getting ready. Um, I think we've done a good job still learning. Um, so again, uh, legal uh, in all 50 states, legal in Iowa, as long as it's hemp drive. Mm -hmm. And then our dosages are at least uh, less than 0.3%. But that comes in different formats. And we could talk about that some later too. All right, we're gonna try again. Yeah. Um, so CBD, um, just again, it, it, for those who are not familiar, you have this plant, this wonderful plant called cannabis with two subspecies, okay? So think of it like um, your Labradoodle, right? <laughs> lots of strains, lots of breeds. I've got a dog that's uh, half Irish setter a half poodle. He's a mini Irish doodle. His name is Milo and he's wonderful. Kids absolutely love him. Um, but cannabis is kind of the same way. We can take this plant and do different things with it. So one side of the equation is the marijuana cannabis where you're higher in your THC, tetrahydrocannabinoid. It's a binding molecule. Um, it has a high affinity to CD1 receptors um, in your central nervous system. And that's the thing that makes it from that the synapses of energy between cells not working correctly, and that's the high effect that you, some people can get, and most people do. On the other side of that, the other species is where we work, and that's with hemp. So it's we're hemp derived. Um, it's a different plant. It's a little taller and skinnier. Um, it doesn't have all the flowers that produce resins from the trichome of the plant, where we're pulling the cannabinoids to get our product from. Uh, it has trace amounts, quite honestly, that just grow naturally in the plant. But it's got about 70 or so um, that we know for sure that we can identify cannabinoids that, that do different things. And part of what CBD can help with is things like pain and inflammation and arthritis. And, and there's some great work with, with cancer patients and kiddos with cancer and dementia and anxiety. And the list goes on and on. It's really because it's a modulating molecule. But we'll, we'll come back to that a little bit. So <clears throat> hemp-derived. Lots of different benefits and uses. Still, again, we can't promise to treat the cure or mitigate. So there's my disclaimer to start with. But we know that through preclinical studies, some other, um, uh, not all double-blinded, uh, millions of anecdotal stuff uh, that we've, we've seen some great results with CBD in a lot of different spaces. But um, more research to be done. Public, you know, clinically, I think I've seen in recent polls uh, at a national level that about 65 to 69 percent of all registered voters have no problem, even with recreation. So once we start to educate, get at a place where we're, we're, we're calling this stuff of adult use, <laughs> which we are, um, uh, I, I think we can move some things forward. So we'll keep working on it. So there's different types of profiles under hemp. Mm -hmm. So. Our license allows three profiles, full, broad, and isolate. Full spectrum is the whole plant is in the product, okay? That means all the cannabinoids, all the terpenes, all the flavonoids, and a trace amount of TEC. How much? Who's listening? Less than 0.3%, thank you. Uh, in broad spectrum, you got all that, but zero THC. We've had a little over 2,300 customers our first year and a half, and that's continuing to grow. I, I benchmark stuff as a marketing guy. Um, and uh, a lot of our customers are coming in um, who can't do the THC piece at all because they get tested. I've got police officers and uh, teachers and truck drivers and 
frontline people and military folks who, who are still active that want the benefits that come from this wonderful plan. Um, but because it could potentially come up in a test, we got to look at a broad spectrum profile. And then I also carry isolate, which is uh, CBD cannabis oil on its own. Two main cannabinoids in the plant are THC, CBD. That doesn't matter if it's hemp or cannabis. Okay. And then there's lots of other stuff and about 500 chemicals. And it's really quite uh, an amazing, amazing product and how it works in the, in the human body. But, um, and then there's whole spectrum. This is a little different. It falls in the full spectrum space, meaning that it's got all those cannabinoids, the terpenes, and, and a trace amount of THC. This is me. So um, my company is a biotech company uh, that has found a way to extract um, the cannabinoids from the plant outside of chemistry and chemicals like ethanol and critical CO2 extraction to get what we want. We use physics and energy. We use about 16 joules of energy to take the molecular wall kind of away and everything comes out of the plant just as nature intended. What's really, really cool about it is that from a production and extraction process, most companies, and there's wonderful companies that are store, these are companies in some cases that are around 20 years in TC, TC space, but now in CBD too, um, that get 50 to 70% of the final product. Um, we keep 96 to 98% every single time we make a product. So it's cleaner, it's efficient, it's better for the environment. But more importantly, because the molecule becomes nano in size through this process, the bioavailability, how quickly it absorbs in the body, quicker, faster, stronger. And I can do it at the same price as everyone else, just because I'm more efficient. So um, that's pretty exciting. That is patented uh, name. And uh, so we carry that, that product as well. There he is. Uh, so how does it work? How does it work? This gets really complicated, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it to a level where we can just appreciate the the overview. So um, in the early '90s, a chemist by the name of Raphael Scholl has been around since the '60s. He's the same guy who discovered the uh, molecular structure of tetrahydrocannabinol or THC um, and the other cannabinoids. That group and others, 30 years later, were looking at some neurotransmitters in the body and thought that this group that they found was part of the central nervous system. Well, it actually ended up being a completely different system, uh, a much larger system that's head to toe. And they're like, what are we dealing with here? So what they discovered is that there's a group of neurotransmitters, receptors, and enzymes that manage everything else in the body okay so the things that we've been learning for the last 30 or so years is still not in most medical books um there are some updates that need to happen uh and that's coming around as well um so this system is a managing system okay it manages the central nervous system it manages the peripheral system the immune system and everything in between these receptors that are part of this Am I walking away again from here? And people, I, I have a tendency to get away from this and just talk. Sorry. Um, so the system modulates everything else. The way our bodies are built um, is to be at a state of homeostasis, at balance. We're supposed to be healthy, okay? All through life. Now things happen. We get broken arms, we get a cold, something happens, we get a little older, that's life. The system, the endocannabinoid system, moves with us to balance things out, uptaking and degrading when needed, on demand when needed. And our bodies produce endocannabinoids. Um, they're called uh, endogenous, meaning natural within. Um, these cannabinoids are released in these different systems, attaching to these different receptors throughout the body, a lot of them right in your gut. You ever hear about gut-brain connection? That's a big deal. There's a lot more research that needs to be done there, but we're that's that's going to be another big one coming up in the, in the near future. Uh, but these receptors, um, the the cannabinoids that are from our body, connect to these receptors and activate certain things to balance systems out. 
basically what it is. Um, but also um, our body uh, produces these, but ironically enough, the plant, the cannabis plant has got what they call phytocannabinoids. Under a microscope, the endogenous and the exogenous, which is the plant stuff, they mimic each other. So when we do things like edibles or topicals or whatever it might be, when our body isn't functioning correctly, these mimic what we naturally try to produce to make those same corrections, okay? Is everybody with me so far? Okay, all right, I'm trying to keep it, keep it simple. But this system is quite amazing. It's affected by a lot of different things. Um, brain function, gut health, hormones, muscle control, energy, immune system, um, all controlled by this particular system. And what I think is kind of interesting um, about the endocannabinoid system as it re relates to pharmaceuticals, monomolecules, uh, um, where we're, we're taking a drug to do this thing, this, this symptom thing, okay? But let's, let, let me make another uh, uh, analogy here. So let's do, uh, you guys know what a mobile is? I don't know if you ever grew up with one of those. You had a string hang from there. You got strings, some stars, and that star's got some more strings and more stars, and da da da. And it kind of escalates down. When we do a, a monomolecule, and first of all, for some people, that's the only alternative, right? We're, we're at a place where we can't get ahead of it. We can't use CBD or other cannabinoids to um, be a partner in the correction of, a, of an issue. Um, and, that's, and that's there's a place for that too. But what the monomolecules do, and you've seen the commercials, right? XYZ helps with this, but side effects may include blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now go back to that mobile in your head, okay? When we take that pharmaceutical from the XYZ company, think of it as that drug as a clamp. And here's a star that's got whatever going on, disease, inflammation, whatever. We take that clamp, we put it on the star. What happens to the mobile? starts to do this right yeah, that makes sense but our bodies again are naturally designed to be at a state of homeostasis so all the systems go oh crap there's something going on here we need to come back to balance so those those bars begin to bend and all these little side effects happen right does that make sense but eventually right something breaks and that's the nature of how a pharmaceutical product works in the body, very generically. Endocannabinoids, phytocannabinoids, our body works completely different. When we take the cannabinoids into the picture to make the corrections, either from what we're doing ourselves or through the plant, it goes at the system, so at the sticks, not at the stars and escalates down. CBD and associated molecules are a system thing, not a symptom thing. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's what we're dealing with here. And that's where it gets really interesting. So, and, and moving forward from that, I could spend a lot of time here, but I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm, um, can you, oh, there we go. So um, is it safe? Yeah. It's promising for all ages, okay? Now, there's still more research to do on kiddos because um, there's not a lot out there on that, but we know that there's a ton of research. If you ever go online and look up CBD and different things, you're going to find all kinds of anecdotal videos and research and et cetera. And there's, there's some you know more higher uh, testing being done, but you know it's not addictive. It's not psychoactive. They're, you know, uh, athletes are using it. Everyday people using it for different things from pain to you know, insomnia. I'd say probably 70% of our customers, stress, anxiety, sleep, general pain and inflammation. And ironically here recently, uh, PTSD has been on the rise. Um, I have a, a big following there. Um, I have a lot of physicians and uh, pediatricians and psychologists who's, who uh, send folks our way to, to get different help. And in some ways, it's a, a big supplement to some of the other stuff that we're taking. So a lot of great uh, things out there. It's not intoxicating, not addictive. 
nothing but positive, quite honestly. Can't do anything but help you. Um, so again, it's this group of receptors um, that work in the central nervous system and the other peripheral systems throughout the body. Uh, these receptors are located in the skin, muscles and tissues and lungs and bone marrow and CNS, the central nervous system, uh, and the rest of the systems. That's how they're activated through the endogenous or exogenous um, uh, molecules that uh, we work with. Uh, it is a body thing. Uh, there are products that work for the topical stuff. There are products that work in these different areas um, that can uh, help potentially bring benefit. Um, some side effects with, with CBD that we've uh, noticed, but even though very rare, um, uh, some dry mouth sometimes, if you've taken a little too much, um, sometimes a little fatigue. Um, I've heard of rare cases of diarrhea, um, but normally those situations um, dissipate within a very short amount of time once your body starts to balance out with CBD. Um, and our bodies can take around 1500 milligrams a day before there's an adverse relationship to anything, which never happens. It's pretty much impossible to do. Um, and most research shows that it's about 100 to 200 milligrams. Even having uh, something degrade or uptake with a pharmaceutical. So, and I don't have a lot of folks in that space, but I do have a group of cancer folks, MS, Parkinson's, epilepsy, that are taking around 500 milligrams or so a day to help balance things out. And in some ways it's in, in conjunction with their pharmaceuticals. And in some cases, people not doing anything, but just managing with uh, pharmaceuticals. Case in point, um, I have a daughter who's got ADHD. Um, she's uh, one of a twin. And um, we manage her with uh, a little, a few drops of, of CBD, and, and it seems to help with her. And um, she'll tell me uh, if uh, I haven't given it to her. Uh, she knows there's a difference in school. Uh, she's very focused. She's extremely intelligent. But it's like that that dog who chases a butterfly. You know, I don't know if you ever. <laughs> but it, it, you get it. So there, there's there's still more research to be done, and and. Um, but side effects are pretty minimal. Uh, typically, we're seeing better sleep, more energy. Um, certain cannabinoids help in these different areas. And I can talk to you guys about that stuff offline. Great for stress and digestion and just general wellness. I take CBD every single day. I took it this morning. And by the way, CBD is wonderful for public speaking. That's the laugh part where you guys laugh. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you think about it, you know, if it's working on balancing stress and anxiety, um, I'm, I, I feel very comfortable, which is nice. Um, so again, just the conditions and, and things that uh, the systems uh, uh, can help with. Um, before buying CBD, uh, first of all, it's important. I don't care if you come to our store or some other store. There's other groups out there. And not all products were made the same. Um, educate yourself. Do some do some research. Um, but things to, to think about is, you know, what do you do you get tested? Number one. Okay. We don't want anybody to get in trouble. So find out if the product that you're that you're looking at has got some THC in it. Now the research shows that your full spectrum, whole spectrum stuff has better results than just broader isolate. Typically, we got to bump up the dosage to get the same effect as a full spectrum product. Um, but we get uh, we have a ton of people who are doing it without the THC cannabinoid component. Um, it's legal. Make sure if you're traveling, I think, you know, um, in the hemp space, I, I don't get a lot of, hear a lot of things, but, you know, going internationally, sometimes I'll get somebody, hey, you know, I'm going to Hawaii, it's okay to take that. And, well, you know, I, I I kind of back myself out of that and go, you know, you need to go and do some research and find out if you're traveling somewhere, what their laws are. So that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. Think about, you know, side effects. CBD is safe. Um, good CBD isn't cheap. Um, we try to do things a little bit different at HWCBD. Our, our model is not how much money, <laughs> never been about money, quite honestly. We're okay. Um, it's been um, about how many people can we help? Now, how much money we can make today? How many people can we help? We're not like other groups who are required to make certain amounts of dollars every day. I don't have to report to the mothership. My mothership is Mother Teresa. 
<laughs> well, that, that's, 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 that's the mothership in my house. Um, so we do have great, great products at, at good prices. Um, lots of benefits, but it doesn't fix everything, right? We're not promising to do that. Um, so make sure the product is third-party tested. Make sure that uh, you're getting it and uh, avoiding online retailers that you don't know about or are new about. I think I saw um, a research thing, 60 some odd percent of stuff that's online. When you get the product, it's not what's on the label. Our stuff has to go through inspection and appeals. They have documents of all of our product, the certificate of, of analysis that says all the chemicals that are in, in the batch that you're taking, as well as third party tested. Okay. So make sure that you're getting good stuff. Be careful. We're kind of wild, wild west online, as most things are. Um, don't go cheap. Find somebody who's transparent, talk to you about this stuff, educate you. That's why I do. Um, um, our staff does that. I'm, I, I'm very passionate about education with this. Uh, yeah, and just watch the THC thing. Oop, what happened? Oop. Okay. Um, yeah. Benefits, takeaways, provide health benefits where prescriptions fall short. Personalized, it is very personalized, finding the right product and strain and formulation and dosage that works best for you. Safe, it's legal. I uh, talk to healthcare folks. I have, I, I think that's a great idea. If you're adding CBD to your wellness program and you're kind of concerned, talk to your physician. Some are aware of, of the benefits and all those kinds of things. Some are not. Um, I also have a, a, a third party partner called 411 Leaf. They're um, cannabis certified cannabis nurses that can say, okay, you're taking this medication and you want to do this. Well, here's the things that we need to think about. So we got that. That's part of our program when people talk. Uh, so be educated. Talk to your physician. That's always a decent idea. Uh, helps with a lot of different things. Buy from somebody who knows what they're, what they're talking about. Okay. Don't get it from the gas station. Don't get it from the guy in the alley. Um, you know, that it, the world of cannabis, folks, is a lot more exciting than it was 40 years ago. A lot. And there's more to that's coming. We're super, super excited about. Um, I think right now it's projected to be about 25 billion um, in the next few years. So that's it. Uh, questions for me, please. No. The answer is no. It's not right. I agree. Hundred percent. That's that's part of the other. That's part of the other fight. Is is how do we, you know, we're now we're talking about federal things and um, you know laws and, and and changing and getting getting cannabis away from a schedule one along with heroin and crack. The legal thing. It's a legal thing. It's a law thing. Yeah, legislative. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. She, yeah. And she can understand why they're dry drunk. Yes, sir. It's a little mind blowing as an adult, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Preaching to the choir, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, all, all valid. And and believe me, you, you would be surprised how many times I've heard that story. Hundreds, hundreds of times. And I have a large following. You know, I, I like I said in the beginning, I, I go out and I do the things like this at, um, you know, retirement centers and and senior citizen homes and it uh i i always end up with some people who who come and say you know what I'm, we're going to try and, and give this a shot and um 
once we find that right strain dosage and formulation, we're pretty successful. I'm going to be honest. I mean, it, it's not a cure-all. Sometimes it's in conjunction with something else. But man, if we can get somebody off of, I've, I could tell you about alcoholism, um, people now using CBD to, to manage their anxiety and stress and, and get through that, that period. Um, God, I can tell you stories. Um, great. I mean, sad ones too. Like, you know, I, uh, had a gal. Um, so I sit, when I sit in, you come to the store which I hope that you guys do sometime. It's a beautiful store. Um, I sit at the desk. I look out the window, let the world go by sometimes in between studying. Um, and I saw this car pull up, gal gets out, and I could tell right in this, I could see her for some reason. I had kind of just locked in on her, and I could, I watched her walking up, and I could tell that she was pretty distraught. Um, and she came in and spent about a minute inside and started weeping hysterically. I thought, oh boy, uh, here we go. Um, and you never know where that's going to lead you. And you know what I've found is not only am I an educator um, and an advocate um, and a friend, but I'm also like a psychotherapist sometimes. And it, and it, and that's part of the the thing is is being um, empathetic, not always you know sympathetic to the situation. Anyway, long story short, um, husband uh, PTSD veterans and several different tours big time drinker angry all the time violence around the home um <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> and uh uh so <clears throat> anyway went through that process found some stuff. He was sitting down in the car. Okay. So he didn't want to come in because he didn't believe in it. Angry, probably drunk out in the car. So, um, bought some stuff, went through the process, educating. Um, about a month and a half later, this is in summertime. So about August, they came back. They came back. I thought, Oh crap. He's coming in. <laughs> Either this went really good or it's really bad and I'm going to hear about it, right? Um, so they came in and, um, uh, but there was something different. The vibe was different. And there was a little smile, curious smile. And they're like, well, this is my husband. And uh, matter of fact, he was in yesterday again. Um, and uh, it's like, well, you know, I, I seem just to be a little less anxious when I'm, I'm working with some of your full spectrum stuff. I said, okay, that's wonderful. You know, we're here to help. Um, and we had a nice conversation. And then they bought some more stuff. Uh, he's, he had at that time kind of tapered a little bit off of the drinking. He was very forthright and very honest about where he's at in his world. And um, and then, uh, uh, about another month or so later, he came back in on his own and, um, he always, uh, find he's found his stuff, not drinking anymore. He's off the pharmaceutical that he was taking, not drinking sober he's from Fort Dodge. Nice guy. Um, and just has found his niche. He always wants his veterans discount. And any other discount he can find, which is wonderful. And I give it to him. Um, and we appreciate what they do. Um, so he was in yesterday too. And uh, but you know, we hear stories like that and 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 people with you know sleeping issues and elderly with sleeping issues and anxiety things and kids with pans and cancer patients and all this different stuff. So it is quite amazing, but there's a lot of stories out there and feel very blessed to be doing what I'm doing. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Got a little emotional there. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I asked my doctor to for a prescription. Uh, what is your story? He can't write a prescription. 
he can recommend that you go get CBD. And that's when you come to me, that's when we work on that, that stuff. I don't write a prescription. I'm not a doctor. We're, we're jumping through legal hoops here. Correct. No, I don't know. no, no legal hoops to jump through because it is 100% legal. Correct. Correct. 100%. If I get it. Sure. Doesn't have to be a no. Yeah. Then it'll be the same as <laughs> that's an interesting angle sir i like i like where your head's at uh i i can't recommend that <laughs> but you can you know how you uh work around things that's you know that's a personal decision but okay yep I do not. Nope. Darn close. Darn close. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that analogy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's very true. Um, yeah. So every situation and every person is different. If you're taking other pharmaceuticals like statins, like things of grapefruit extract, like thyroid medications, there are some things that I pause on. And I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Let's talk to your physician. Why don't you go talk to them? Let's talk about it. Let's get these certified third-party certified nurse consultants in cannabis. Look at what you're taking. And you know what? For some people, man, pharmaceutical is the best thing for you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that could potentially be complementary. And in some cases, complementary enough to where some people no longer need it, the pharmaceutical. Your world could be completely different than this guy's world. You're exactly right. It's very, very personalized. Every situation is different. It's not broad sweeping, for sure. Great, great point. Yeah, yeah, yeah.